request has also been to make it into a block um, of three. So uh, page 42, item 138, number 8H. On page 50, item 144, number 1H. And on page 70, item 213, number 3H. The gentleman from Arlington, Mr. Lopez. Thank you, Speaker. Speaking to the amendment. The gentleman has the floor. Thank you, Speaker. Last year, we uh, passed legislation establishing the New Economy Workforce Grant Program. We also provided $4 million in the first year and $8.5 million in the second year for this program in the budget. This first-of-a-kind initiative provides a pay-for-performance model for workforce training, leading to a credential in high-demand fields. The program has already been so successful that the demand is anticipated to exceed the $4 million allocated for the first year of the program. That is why the governor's budget language had an extra $1 million. Now is really not the time to slow the growth of this important economic development and workforce training program. Without the additional $1 million in the governor's introduced budget, CHEV will have to stop awarding additional grants to individuals seeking training in high demand fields that, that uh, like computers, technology, healthcare, construction, transportation, Last year, Virginia saw 149,000 open jobs in the technology sector alone, many of which did not require a four-year degree. Offering incentives for individuals to compete training, complete training and earn credentials in high-demand fields is critical for economic growth in every corner of our Commonwealth. We need a budget that works for working families. This amendment hurts working folks trying to get credentials and better jobs. I hope it will be the will of the House to reject this amendment. Shall the committee amendment be agreed to? Clerk will close the roll. <clears throat> Ayes 69, noes 31. Ayes 69, noes 31. The committee amendment is agreed.